You're watching Into Wine TV, and we're at Cobb Wine Bar and Kitchen in San Francisco. And today we're tasting the Allegro Vineyards 2005 Cadenza from Pennsylvania. Pamela, what do you think? I like it. I think it's a good wine. It's a Bordeaux blend. Tastes like a New World Bordeaux blend. Um, you know, it has the, some of the cassis qualities of Cabernet Sauvignon. There's um, the plummy sort of black cherry from Merlot. There's an underlying sort of um, mineral earthiness. I think it's a good wine. Uh, for me, though, it's like, okay, it's a good wine. I don't think it's a wine to sell her, but I think it's pretty nice right now. Uh, texturally, it's nice. It's fairly smooth, but there's some structure on the palate. It's, the question is how much is, you know, what does the wine cost? But I think it's good. Let me ask what you would pay for it. Uh, 20, 25 or so. It's 35. Okay, well, maybe not that good. Okay. <laughs> Bartholomew, what do you think? Uh, I think Pamela likes it a little, little bit more than me. I'm, I'm not in love with this wine, but I, it's, it's not a wine that I find offensive either. It's a, a good, simple, um, it's good, it's, it's an okay wine. It's, well, I'm not in love with the wine. It's, it's for Pennsylvania, I think it's, uh, you know, I haven't had many wines from Pennsylvania, and I'm pleasantly surprised. It's, it's, uh, but I wouldn't have gone on about it for very long. It has like a little bit of like a dried, weedy smell, which is not necessarily a bad thing. And don't ask me to Sounds tell you like good. what kind of weed, okay, because, you know, but it just sort of has that like... I think it's reasonably well balanced. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I don't think it's worth thirty-five dollars, though. That's you know, for me the upper limit would be twenty-five. Mm -hmm. And it's not just me, but also just judging from if I had this on the wine list, and that, those are retail prices. But kind of doing the conversion, I don't really see where people. I wouldn't feel comfortable charging more than let's say thirty-five, forty dollars for a bottle of this on our wine list. So. That would make the retail pricing on this more in like the, well, actually less than 20 to 25. Do you like it? I think it's okay. It's, yeah. it's, um, there's nothing really exciting about it to me, um, but I think it's pretty easy to drink and um, for just your average wine drinker, mm -hmm. this would be something nice to serve with dinner. I do think that if you took this to your average wine enthusiast and said, this is a wine from Pennsylvania, I think people would be relatively pleased and surprised. Oh, because sure. you're not yeah. expecting um, much from Pennsylvania because you haven't tasted many Pennsylvania wines, but I think it's, it's okay. What would you serve this with? Uh, some of the classical things that you would serve other... Spaghetti bolognese. Yeah, something like that would be fine. Hamburger, like a blank steak. Um, yeah, as, as far as it's de as meat is concerned, though, I would think beef as opposed to something more gamey. Pork, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Well, if you want to give something from Pennsylvania a try, you can't go wrong with the Allegro Vineyards 2005 Cadenza. At $35 a bottle, it's worth a try. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time.